Hi, happy Friday again, you guys. Can't believe how quickly the week has gone by. I don't know about you, but one minute it was Friday and then there's another Friday. How is everyone feeling lately? How is everyone welcoming into the new spring season here? Are you enjoying the weather? What is it like in where you're watching from? And what are you up to and what are your plans for this season? I know that for me, there is a lot of things going. There's a brand new stuff happening into my, uh, my coaching business and new systems being put into place to just help with uh, getting things sorted and being in order and meeting new people, being able to connect even while we are sort of still in lockdown or like pandemic wise we can't really gather we still have that opportunity to be able to connect with many people um all across using social media so that is nice and really has worked out really well for me uh even if i'm working from home now something came up into my radar well actually i've kind of been you know, like have been talking about this for some time, but this phrase actually was, we talk, I talked about this phrase yesterday with a friend and it goes with also the, the concept or the idea that life happens for you. Who here has heard that line before or, or believe in that? that whatever comes into your life in your experience today in this moment it is happening for you not to you so there's a difference to that perspective because when you see it as it's happening for you it's actually allowing you to really think deeply what that situation what that experience is allowing you to experience it's allowing you to learn from that you're going to derive something out of to possibly help you towards a goal that you have been working towards and whatever comes towards you and it's happening for you it's helping you develop something that you need towards again a goal towards some kind of life change or towards your future so then a friend of mine started talking about our past experiences or even the things that we have slowly come into understanding this last uh, week or two on our businesses and things or interactions with other people is that you know I, you probably have heard this too let me know if you have or haven't um, everything happens for a reason but every everything that you come across with whether that's an experience or a person that triggers something in you that uh, that somehow either kind of like just gave you a spark of an idea or a spark of emotion it is there for two reasons and it's either a blessing or a blessing in disguise or a lesson has anyone heard that from anything lately so i know i believe i personally believe myself that everything happens for a reason especially in my life i also know and believe that that everything that comes in front of me happens for me it helps me uh, stay aware of the things that are you know that comes to me like every every message every every person that I interact with, there's a reason for me meeting that person. And that is, there's also a reason why a situation comes into my um, experience because it's either a blessing in disguise for me or a lesson. So first off, just making this, trying to make this quick, if that experience come to you and it either triggers you or it brings up something out of you, it makes you wonder right if that that experience was something 
that pops up and gives you like this great idea that's going to help you towards whatever you need clarity on on your business or in your life that maybe you've been questioning about for weeks and weeks and you just feel like you don't know where to go and all of a sudden this person pop up says one one word and it gives you that clarity and it's that's a blessing right now if it's a lesson it could be something that they're they a person an experience a thing a, a place that you go to and then you meet someone from that place or you pass on a place there's a coat things like that and it, it comes the that that spark that idea is just kind of comes to you and like hey you know like I'm learning patience today like I'm stuck in this situation with somebody that is allowing me to process that why am I getting angry why am I getting annoyed why am I feeling this way it's what what's happening instead of be being in the feeling of like oh she's doing this for me she's like doing this doing that you're allowing yourself to think of it in a different perspective it's like what can I learn about this situation how can I learn about this moment in time that's going to get me to feeling great or feeling cl some clarity or uh, allowing you to learn something that you can develop within yourselves so, you know, one of the classic example for me is like patience. Sometimes some pe people come into my field and they test me. <laughs> they really do test me and, and either with their questions, with the remarks, with their things. It's allowing me to be patient or allowing me to be patient with myself, not just being patient with them, but also patience with myself. It allows me to be pro process that fact that, hey, I'm being too hard on myself. It doesn't really mean anything about me. I'm being too hard with myself. I need to be patient with myself. I need to be kinder to myself. That's a lesson. That experience was providing me a lesson on that regard. So I don't know what you think, you guys. Let me know. The reason why I brought this up on a Friday motivation coffee with you is that I feel like with that perspective, knowing that everything happens for me and not to me, it's allowing me to stay aware that make, that whatever experience that I have or encounter that I have is actually for my best, for my best, for my highest good. Which means everything is a learning experience. Everything is putting me towards what is good for my future, my goals, my business. So if that is the case, can you imagine if we actually pay attention and not take anything personally and just say, hey, what is this providing for me? Is this a blessing or a lesson? Am I learning something or I? is it something that's going to help me propel into something great in my life? So just a food for thought, I guess, and something that kind of thought-provoking. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Is it a blessing or a lesson for you? What is something that you've encountered this morning, for example, let's just say what's the most recent thing that made you feel icky or someone said something that triggered you, that made you angry. And instead of like reacting to it and being angry, you're, <laughs> you can go deeper and say, what is this telling me? What is this emotion of anger really telling me? Is it because of something she said? Or is it because something I didn't do or um how would have preferred to do anything that question it stay curious ask yourself what is this experience doing for me so that's your friday thought provoking live <laughs> let me know in the chat and see let me know what you think about it and obviously i will see you in the next one